welcome to your grade nine orientation. I'm Emily. <laughs> I'm Valerie. And we will be taking you on a tour of the school today. So come on in. We sit here in between classes and school is regular um, during our lunch break. Um, it's pretty much like the day goes along. Uh, during the morning, sometimes there'll be snacks um, as part of our CTA CARES program. And yep, uh, down the hall, we've got the entrance to our cafeteria. We're not sure if it'll be running this year, but in case it is, that's where it'll be. Here we have our attendance office and our main office. So you can sign in here when you're late or you have to sign out early from school. And this is the main office. Continuing our tour, we have the social worker and the guidance office, and they're both here to help you with anything that you need, including pathways and course options in the guidance and any mental health problems that you may have in both the guidance and the social worker. They're both, and lots of people here are here to help you. All right, so if we take a look at the ground, there will be little green arrow stickers all along the floor throughout the school. This is to show you which uh, direction you should be walking in order to keep a nice flow, especially um, within the circumstances of the pandemic. We just want to make sure everybody is safe, so not crossing paths would be the easiest way to do that. And so this classroom right here is our dance studio. It's where you'll have any dance classes that you may be signed up for in grade 10. All right, so in this corner, we've got the auto and the construction, as well as these big lockers are for any of you sports people out here. If you play football or any big sports that require a lot of equipment, you may be eligible to use one of these lockers, and you just gotta talk to the phys ed department about that. Here, we've got our weight room. There are a bunch of special gym equipment in here including weights and treadmills <laughs> and just any normal gym equipment that you may use at gym. This entrance is our northeast stair. It's more commonly referred to our gym and field stairs, or the, the stairs closest to the gym and the field, which you'll see when you get to school. It is right beside the gym that we talked about. And this is a continuation of our gym hallway. It has more of the sports lockers and some of our gym entrances. The boys' change room is here and the girls' change room is just a little bit farther down the hall. So this is our main gym entrance. It is where we will be lining up for any gym classes that we may have as well as mass and pep rallies. This is where you'll come fully dressed in either your uniform for mass and pep rallies, or full out in pink for pink day, or even your gym uniform for just a regular gym class. This is our physical education office. It's where you'll come to talk to those teachers about the sports lockers that we recently discussed, as well as any needs that you may have for discussing gym. So these trophy cases are where we show off some of our most pride um, things that happen with our athletes. So we've got our alumni case, which is full of any alumni that have made on to uh, big sports. We've also got our current trophies. Uh, I'd like to showcase the senior girls and junior girls swim champions because I did that. <laughs> um, and we make it back to our male and female washrooms. And so now we've made it a full circle and we are at the entrance to our cafeteria. This is where, the, if it was open, you'd be able to get some snacks, like really good cookies and drinks or lunches like chicken fingers. And also there are tables to eat. And in the morning, sometimes if you have a really big test, you can study in here. All right, so now we are making our way into our auditorium or our theater. There are quite a few seats in here. This is where we would have some assemblies that are smaller or more grade oriented, or even our liturgy for Ash Wednesday. Um, music recitals and our plays go on in here as well as dance recitals. And this is the North Staircase, also referred to as the Cap and the Portable Staircase. We use these other terms just to make it easier because I really don't know where North, East, South, and West are on a daily basis. So 
If you look at the blue sign that is posted at every one of the entrances that are along stairs, it'll show you some of the big um, rooms that are there, as well as every single classroom that if you're looking for your classes, you don't get lost. We've also got our cosmetology class on the first floor. This is where you'll have hairstyling, aesthetics, and any other cosmetology type class that you'll have. It's room 109. So now we have made it to our second floor main entrance. And you can see on another one of our blue signs, you can go either right or left from this entrance. So come on. Alrighty, so as soon as turn right from the main entrance, we have our food and nutrition classroom and we also have our chapel and our chaplain office. So in the chapel, you'll come for class liturgies, you can come for some quiet reflection, and in the chaplain office, you can come to speak to our chaplain, Ms. Lozowski, about any mental health problems, any spiritual guidance that you may have during the school year. So walking from the chapel to the right, we have our religion and our French hallway. So if you have either one of those classes during your time here, this is most likely where they'll be. So here in the corner of our second floor, we have our computer tech class and our careers class. And if you continue down this way, we'll have the classrooms of the shops that are downstairs. Okay, so we've made it to another corner of the school. This staircase right behind me is the gym or field staircase. So right below us is the weight room that we looked at before. And in the corner here, sometimes some of the corners have some weird things going on with the numbers. So here, if you have a class in 221 or 220, they'll be right here. Okay, so down this back hallway, again, we have the male bathroom and the female bathroom. And this hallway is known as the Canadian World Studies hallway. Any geography classes, any history classes, they'll most likely be down this hallway. Okay, so we've made it to another corner of the second floor. These stairs right behind me are the cap and portable stairs. And these classrooms over here are 218 and 219, where you may have religion, geography, or history. So down this hallway of the second floor, we have our child youth counselor, Mrs. James. And you can come in here if you want to talk to her about your mental health, if you want any sort of guidance about anything. Um, she's a really great person to talk to. Okay, here we have the entrance to our learning commons with this beautiful rainbow pathway leading up to the doors. And to get in here, you need to have your student ID card that the school will give you with your picture on it to sign out a book. And your teachers might let you come in here to work on any assignments if you want to use the computers, or you can come in here to read. And that concludes our second floor tour. So let's head up to the third floor. All right, so we've made it to the third floor, and once again, you'll see one of our bright blue posters showing you which direction or which classes are in. All right, so the third floor is kind of tricky because as you see, there is a random hallway in the middle of the floor. So just be aware that it is on the poster, so if you go straight from the stairs right there, you will see the classes that, we, that are in that hallway, and it is on the poster. All right, so in the front of the school, on the third floor, you've got your math hallway. It does have some science labs as well as some computer labs and some technology classes, but it is mostly dedicated to the math classes. As we turn the corner, going towards the field, we do start to hit our science type hallway. So it does have majority of our labs. It does also have some more computer labs, which is where you might have some business classes. But once again, the majority of this um, hallway is used for our science labs. All right, so we've come to another tricky corner. This one has a sign. It is room 336 and 337. This hallway is mostly dedicated to geography class, and this one is usually a mix. I've had a science class in there that did not have a lab. This, once again, is our gym and field door. It will also have the blue poster showing you which classes are close to you. All right, so once again, along the back hallway of the school, this time we have English classes, but like always, we also have the student bathrooms, both female and male. They're always along the back wall of the school. And we're back at the other stairs. This is the cap and the portable stairs, and once again, has a blue poster for 
when you walk in. This is room 334 and 335. Sometimes the corner classes just don't line up, so it's easy to um, just point them out to you. All right, so in this hallway, we've got our art classes. More specifically, we've got these two big double doors that lead right into our music classes. So when you come into this hallway, you've got four really great practice rooms where you can practice any of the music that you need to, with, of course, teacher permission. Walking into room 333, we've got our vocals and instrumental class most of the time. Say hello to Miss Files. Hi, you guys. And there's a Webster. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is our music department room one. And if we take a step out and around the corner, we've got room 332 and our second music room. Just past the music room, you've got our visual arts classes. Uh, this is where you'll have fashion or just plain visual arts. I'm not sure what the other arts are, but like for visual, so <laughs> visual arts and fashion most of the time. And we've also got a contact classroom here. It's a big open space at the moment, but it won't be when you're coming in for classes. So if you recognize this room, it's, up, it's right beside the main entrance stairs. All right, so walking down the little confusing hallway, you've got room 326, 327, and 328. They are most likely religion and English classes, and if you're walking around the big circle and you can't find your class, this is most likely where it'll be. So we are back at the main entrance on the third floor, which means you've now officially walked throughout the school, and we are ready to go back down to the main floor. Okay, so we just walked out the cast and portable stairs at the back of the school, and behind me you can see our portables. So the portable numbering can take a while to get used to. Over there we have portables 1 to 6, and on my right here we have portables 9 to 14. Okay, in this lone portable behind me we have portable number 7, and this is known as the gym portable. So if you're in any phys ed class or a kinesiology class, this is where your health portion of the course will be located. All right, so we are now up at the field. This is where your gym teachers may take you out for some outdoor time during um, your gym classes, especially when the weather is nice. It is easier to social distance out here. It's also sometimes maybe cooler than in the gym or hotter if the gym's really cold. Depends on like the weather in the gym and the weather outside, obviously. And that concludes our tour of the school. And if you still happen to find yourself not knowing where you're going, not to worry at all, there will be grade 12 mentors during the first week of school wearing mentor shirts in navy blue with big lettering saying mentor on the back. And our grade 11 mentors will also be wearing shirts. So don't be afraid at all to come up to us, ask us, hey, where is this classroom? I don't know where I'm going. Don't be afraid at all. We're more than happy to help you. All right. Bye, CTK. Thank <laughs> you.